Hello everyone, I'm David Mash, and uh, welcome to this series of videos on the ARP 2600. Today we're going to take a look at um, the 2600M and its uh, inclusion of the mod CV voltage on the front panel. So what does that mean? So um, if you have watched some of the other videos, you've noticed that we use the multiples. And in the 2600M, the multiple has only three jacks, whereas on the full-size version in the original 2600, um, there are four. And the reason for that is the fourth jack has been taken over by using the mod CV. So right now, I've got a, a very basic patch up. And I'm going to be playing from this MIDI keyboard. And what if I wanted to add vibrato using the mod wheel? Well, um, nothing's happening as I move that mod wheel. And the reason for that is because we haven't patched it in to do anything. So the note information, that is the note on and off and the velocity information, is coming from the keyboard over MIDI. And um, the mod wheel is being sent out from the keyboard, and it is actually being received by the um, 2600M, but we have to patch it in to do something. So what is it that we usually use the mod wheel for? We usually use it to bring up the level of a, of a uh, low frequency oscillator, that is frequency modulating the pitch. So, um, if we were to use um, VCO2, um, which has a sine wave, uh, in low frequency mode, and what we'd want to do is to gradually, we could just patch it into the um, input of the, of the two oscillators. Um, but instead, what we want to do is to um, let the mod wheel bring it up. And so let's patch the mod wheel from the control voltage output into the ring modulator. And we're using the ring modulator again as an amplifier in DC mode. Um, we've seen that on a couple other videos. VCO2 is already patched in there. And then what we want to do is using the multiple, we want to take the signal Oops, down to the floor to grab my patch cords. We want to take um, the signal to both of the oscillators that we're using, which is VCO1 and VCO3. So there's one. And here's the second. And now if I bring up the vibrato. We still don't hear it, and the reason we don't hear it is because it's being controlled by the mod wheel. It's a kind of funny technique I'm using to do it, but uh, just because of the angle of the cameras here. Okay, so that's a very simple patch. MIDI from this keyboard, both the note on commands and the controllers are being sent over MIDI to the 2600M. Then we're taking the mod wheel, the control voltage from the mod wheel, into the ring modulator as a voltage controlled amplifier. We're taking a low frequency oscillator, a sine wave from VCO2, into the second input of the ring modulator. We're taking the output of the ring modulator, which is this um, mod wheel controlled vibrato or low frequency oscillator into the two oscillators that are in this patch. And of course, to make the vibrato faster, we change the frequency of VCO2. To make it affect it more, we bring up the amounts here. So the amounts here and here, and the frequency here. Those are the controls that we want to use to make this more musical. Very simple patch, but very musically useful. Um, and I hope you found that useful. 
And if you do, please check me out on my website, machine.com. It's a play in my name, David Mash, Machine. I also make music under Machine Music, and you can find my album rele releases on Spotify and Apple Music and wherever else you get your digital streams and downloads. But please check out my website. You'll find more of these videos and my music and some of my music videos as well. Okay, take care, be safe.